Okay, we're at Robin Godfrey's house and um, just speaking with her, this is going to be a work in progress as far as um, designing. She's got some bases here. She's had some issues with snow falling down in some of these areas and had probably, you know, a hard time getting things to grow to frame the front porch area. So um, that's something that we will consider probably come fall, depending on, on a few things. And I'll go into that later on in the video. Um, but first and foremost, uh, the soil in this yard is what's going to need to be done and amended. So we'll bring in a bunch of rich and complete. Um, right now I'm thinking at least five to six yards of rich and complete, and that's going to help tremendously. Um, and then we need to look into the sprinklers and the irrigation and getting things operable until we go, go through with um, a more permanent design and plan. Um, also, this is an area that we need to consider recreating. Um, you can see the fence line back there. Their kids used to kind of mingle together, so this is something that can be dealt with and managed in the design process as we move forward. Um, super cute home. She's from, she grew up in Hawaii and then or, and then lived in Seattle for a long time, so definitely likes the lush and white is kind of her thing for um, the house. Um, but she's going to send a video showing a lot of these things blooming, like spireas, uh, lilies, dogwoods, boxwoods, um, all that good stuff. So the big thing they're doing right now is they're going to be remodeling their kitchen. And um, right now... Um, we don't have the plans yet, but it'll help us determine what to do out here. You can see she's got these hooks that she had planters that maybe we can run some some drip to so that they're watered. But kind of thinking of making this fence um, just more attractive with some greenery. We talked about maybe building some still planters. Um, you know, if we were to remove the concrete and plant, um, give space to plant there just to green it up so that uh, we can just create an environment. And so right now there's four valves in the sprinkler box. I forgot to look up front. Um, but just so amending the soil, she really loves the Japanese maple and then this, this dogwood. Um, I think bringing in good soil is gonna really help benefit. She'll do the cleanup. Um, and then the remodel is going to kind of encompass this whole area. Um, and then they'll take down this awning, maybe repurpose this rock for pathways. Uh, this is kind of this other side over here. Um, and then we discussed like a deck uh, of some sort up to, you know, the threshold there by the door is where things would be elevated. So there's, there's a lot to consider once um, the remodel is done, which they start in May. And um, so you can kind of see she really likes this stretch here. Um, as we kind of reconfigure this, things may change here, but to get things to kind of thrive and survive on this side, potentially with some greenery. And then um, again, just the, the sprinkling system, she feels like the lawn gets too, almost too much water and then the plants aren't getting enough but she said this back area really gets baked um, with the wall and stuff even considering giving it uh, moving it and giving it more space she said that it's just gets fried and um, you know seems to dry out easier just because there's not enough space for the trees and, and stuff so um, and then she also mentioned they really love having a fire she's going to talk to her husband see whether or not they want wood burning or gas as their kids are growing up but just kind of a little cozy spot for a fire feature but so this kind of gives you an idea of um, the whole backyard they know they'll eventually need to do a new garage as well so that may be encompassed into the project but just to kind of get thoughts going for future 
Um, but in the meantime, we will just amend the soil and reconfigure sprinklers.